Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about this TikTok that has gone relatively viral or viral enough that I actually opened TikTok for non-research purposes, which is already groundbreaking for me. And I got recommended this video like seven times and then I opened Twitter and it was there. So I don't know what the FBI man is up to right now, but clearly, this was a sign from above or below that I had to talk about it. For better or for worse for you guys. There's this TikTok, it's about this trans woman and her pronouns. I wanna have a nuanced conversation about this because almost inevitably when I do talk about this, it does turn into the 2016 slash 2018, whatever time is, of the binary, ironically, the binary of you're the devil if you fuck up someone's pronouns by mistake and you, are a sensitive ass bitch if you wanna respect people's pronouns. It's usually one of the two. Now, because I want this to be nuanced, I would like to consider some level of middle ground where you can be reasonable and polite without going to either extremes, unless you wanna go to an extreme, in which case I cannot stop you. So this TikTok seems to be a compilation. I was trying to find individual TikToks. I couldn't find them. So the reason I'm pointing out that it's a compilation is that I don't know how much has been edited out of certain of these TikToks, if anything. So let's just keep that in mind for the sake of context. Looks like uh, he's having a uh, nice feast. She, all she, she, her. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, it's all good. But it was not all good. Hi. I use she, her pronouns. I'm not sir. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, like it, it, it's like a knife in the heart. I also, I did specifically ask ahead of time not to be called sir. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I think there are responsibilities we need to take for ourselves. Now this particular individual in the TikTok, but this goes for whomever, honestly. Obviously you want people to respect your pronouns. That's normal and I don't think that's a crazy expectation. That being said, the majority of adults anyway, especially not older adults, but people who aren't in the TikTok generation, let's call it that way. First of all, I feel like most of the adults I know in that age category, like older than me, are not super, aware or familiar of trans ideology, trans rights, trans priorities, whatever you wanna call it. They're not very aware of all that unless there's someone they know who is trans and will tell them about it. You know what I mean? Like most people are not plugged in to that world or the LGBT community unless again, they're part of it, in my opinion, from what I've seen. So that's completely anecdotal. So because of this, most of these adults, in my opinion, will take the gender cues they see on you and come to their conclusion. Now we can have a whole conversation about whether that's fair, what to do to change that, whatever. But the reality is, if I go to a restaurant right now, dressed like this, it may not be the most feminine clothing on earth, but I feel like generally speaking, we can tell she's a girly, okay? People will just take that and run with it. I could very well be trans, I'm not. The waiter at the restaurant realistically doesn't know. All they know is what they've seen, they add that up, they say that must be a she, they say hello ma'am, hello miss, whatever the fuck they say. In this particular case, I'm not gonna go into what I think about how they're presenting because that truly is none of my business, but the waiter took in how they were presenting and said, okay, I'm gonna use this pronoun. Now obviously that's an automatic process for most of us, we don't parse it like piece by piece like I'm saying it. For this person to react as in it's a dagger to the heart or they feel like they're stabbed in the heart, whatever the exact terms were, is dangerous, I think, for themselves. Because at one point, I think you need to find coping mechanisms because the reality is most people will not think that hard about what you identify as. And that's not meant to be an insult to whoever, but the reality is most people at their job that might be a minimum wage job that is working them to the bone isn't going to have this whole big thought process about just getting you your food. They're just doing their thing. They probably haven't even fully looked at you. You know what I mean? I'm not excusing or endorsing or any behavior. I'm just trying to look at this from the outside and be like, okay, do I really think there is malevolence here? And that's for the person to decide. But I also feel like the reality is most people will take some gender cues, call you he, call you she, whatever is paired with your gender and move on. So for you to feel like you're stabbed in the heart every single time that this happens, I think is dangerous for you. Because if it really hurts you that bad, 
I can't imagine over years or over months how that will add up and affect your mental health. So I do think coping mechanisms have to be found on that end. Of course, the other end of that is once someone corrects you, you respect whatever they say, because again, it's just a question of being polite. If you meet someone who's called Nicholas and they say they hate being called Nicholas and they want to be called Nick, you're going to call them Nick. It's literally that simple. With pronouns, I think it's that simple as well. I don't expect you to meet Nicholas and know he wants to be called Nick because it's not obvious and there isn't always a sign above someone's head being like, hey, by the way. So if you fuck up, in my perspective, it's not the end of the world. But once someone corrects you, if you decide to continue to be an ass and call them what they asked you not to call them, that's really, in my opinion, what's telling about you. But I digress. Okay. okay. The sweet water starts at. Yes, okay. Not, I mean, not, I, I, I'm so sorry. I apologize. It's always like a knife. It always hurts every single time. I was wondering if there's a manager I could talk to about something that happened. Yeah, I, I was called sir. Oh, okay. It just really sucks every time it happens. I don't need to be called ma'am. I just need to not be called sir. You know? Thank you. Did you call me sir? I, I just want to tell you that. The person who gave me this called me sir. What? Called me sir. Oh. Yeah. It's just like, it kind of just hurts a lot to get called sir. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Very good. Right. Thank, Thank you so you much. No. Oh, I'm, yeah. Thank you. I'm not a sir. <sighs> Nothing like a good misgendering. It does, it is a knife in the gut when I get called sir. I, f I feel like I need to tell him. <laughs> I need to tell him that that hurt. It hurts more though, and it's not intentional because it means like this did, This is sir to him. I know you didn't mean it, but I'm not a sir. I'm so sorry. It's okay, I know you didn't mean it. It's just, you know, it hurts. I know when people clock me, it's, it's fine, but like it does kind of hurt. Thank you. My personal bias may be coming into the chat here, but I do not think and I do not live by the motto that you should tell everyone your feelings all the time. If I did that, I'm pretty sure I would be, well, in prison by now because there are times when I'm in class and there are times people have said things that I think are just dumb as hell. I don't feel the need to let them know that. And sometimes what they've said, I wouldn't call it offensive, but it's so dumb that it's insulting because they're making generalizations, right? But aside from in my head being like this fucking moron, I move on. There is no need for me to tell them. I'm obviously not telling this person what to do, but once you've corrected a person, I really don't think it is helpful for you to tell them that they hurt you because these are just random service industry people that do not know you. So once you've told them what the problem is, going beyond that and saying that it hurt your feelings, it's like, what are they supposed to do with that? Every single person here has apologized. Even contacting the manager to tell them that someone misgendered you is like, do you want to get someone's job put on the line because they fucked up and then apologized for their fuck up, but you're still gonna go that extra step? At what point does this turn into weaponizing? You know what I mean? Like you're weaponizing someone's fuck up. They fuck up, they apologize, and you still go to the person above them to tell them, hey, they did this, it was really hurtful. And on top of it, you're doing it on camera. So whomever you're talking to as a manager is aware that this is likely gonna go on social media. What do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna be put in a really hard position of, if I keep this person on, if this does blow up, if this does go viral, I'm gonna get hate and be seen as a bigot because I didn't fire the person who misgendered and apologized. But then if they fire the person, if they're a good waiter, a good worker, whatever, they're not gonna wanna fire someone for an honest mistake they apologized for, right? So you put them in this weird position as well. That's just me as an outsider. Maybe I am effectively missing something. I'm not, sir. Oh, not, sir. Not, sir. But the guy who dropped the, the, the food off, he called me, sir, twice in a row. Oh, it's coming back.
and all that. And actually, yeah, that's Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, so in this last example, it's a little bit different already because she did correct the waiter. Again, I don't know whether that's an honest mistake. I suppose I don't really know where we're trying to go with this. That's my question because I understand the point of the content, I suppose, is to show that you misgendering people can be hurtful. Now, if you don't do it on purpose, hopefully it's less hurtful to the person that's misgendered. If it's done on purpose, that's a different story. It's like, okay, so what is the conclusion here? Are we trying to get people to tell you that everyone who misgendered you is an asshole and did it to hurt your feelings? Or what, what are we trying to do? Because in my opinion, we should be offering a solution here because what is the solution to the issue presented? What is the solution? Aside from wearing a tag that literally says she, her, which sounds ridiculous and that nobody wants to do, I really cannot come up with anything aside from being extremely gender normative in terms of your appearance. So you'd have to look like the typical woman. And even then people will still make assumptions. What if it's not about your gender, it's going to be about something else. Anyway, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm kind of wondering if this type of content is going to have a resurgence go viral again, because Honestly, I really hope it doesn't because I think it makes a lot of things worse unless there are solutions included, which there aren't. I guess my final conclusion is don't call people ma'am or sir and use a lot of they's. That's my conclusion at this point. It's just extremely complicated out there and I feel like the more we have more specific identities, it's great on the personal level, like for you yourself, but on the external level, on the social level, not everyone is on the same page. So the identity you have for yourself is an identity some people might not even know exists, mind you. And there we run into a lot of problems. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.